Hi and welcome back to another TechMinds video. So today I'm going to be upgrading the firmware in my MD380. Currently I have the standard firmware version which is D002.030 and I'm actually going to be upgrading it to some custom firmware. Now the reason why I'm going to do this is for a, a few reasons. The, the first main reason is the fact that on the standard firmware when somebody's talking it actually shows uh, their DMR ID on screen. Now that's pretty useful we could go ahead and look that up uh, on a DMARC database but what the custom firmware is going to allow us to do is actually download a user database directly onto the radio itself which means when somebody puts out a call or you're talking to somebody and you're listening back to them their call sign and their location will be displayed on the screen anyway so let's go ahead and plug the radio in and get it ready for downloading firmware Okay, so the first thing we need to do is just power off the radio itself and open up this little flap on the right hand side. Uh, pop the cable in, which is the USB cable, the other end plugs into your PC, and then we hold the PTT and the top button here while powering on. Now what should happen is if it's successful the top LED will start to flash green and red. Ignore the dust on this radio, it's quite an old radio. But there we go, we're now ready to download the firmware. Now we're going to be using a utility which has been put together by KD4Z. It's a, a nice easy utility that runs within VirtualBox. I'll leave a link down in the description to the GitHub repository so you can go and download it yourself. So you will need VirtualBox and you will need the image for VirtualBox. There's some instructions on how to install it into VirtualBox uh, and how to run it and the other little kind of odd things that you need to do. But once it's installed and it's up and running we're going to be presented with the menu so once presented with the menu we need to now go ahead and type in GLV GLV stands for get latest version now this is going to take some time because what it's going to do is actually clone the github project to your local computer or to the local uh, VM uh, and it's going to compile the latest version for you so we'll just skip forward this part now the GLV command get latest version actually gets the latest version of the firmware and it also gets the latest version of the user database. If you wanted just a database you'd type in GLV users. So we're now ready to go ahead and flash the radio. So this is quite easy if you've got a non GPS version you just type flash and press enter. So I'll just speed this process up uh, until it's done. So once complete it's going to show a message to say firmware write completed and then turn off the radio and then back on. Um, when you want to flash the user database the radio just needs to be in normal on mode it doesn't have to be in DFU mode. So just make sure you've turned the radio off and turn it back on again after the firmware update has completed. So to flash the database it's quite simple we just need to type in flash db. Now this process does take quite a bit of time it actually takes longer than upgrading the firmware that's probably because the file size is forever growing. The more users which register on the DMR network the larger that file grows but luckily the guys that have created the custom firmware they've made some room in its memory so we can store that file. So I'll just speed this process up. So once it's finished uploading the user database to the radio, you can now just go ahead and power cycle the radio. Just turn it off and turn it back on again. Let's go over to my radio now and have a look at the benefits that we get from uploading this custom firmware. So the first thing we're going to notice is the display. It is now showing call sign and the person's name and their location. This is because the radio is now taking the DMR ID of the person that's talking and looking it up in the user database which is stored locally on the radio and then it displays it on the screen itself. Now there is a whole load more different features that are available on this firmware such as showing the microphone bar graph. You can also show the frequency of the channel that you're listening to you can also put promiscuous mode on which is really useful if you want to listen to a DMR frequency but you don't know the talk group and there's a whole load of other different options so go ahead and upgrade your firmware please be advised though do you have to make sure that you follow the instructions precisely otherwise you could end up with just the brick 
or a glorified doorstop. Luckily this radio only cost me about £30 from eBay, it was second hand so if I did do any damage to it it doesn't really matter but luckily it worked and it was absolutely fine. Anyway guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe. I will leave all the links down in the description below and if you've got any questions on this please feel free to leave it in the comments section. Until the next video guys take care and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.